Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So, we're heading into the final games of the NHL regular season, and although most of the playoff positions are set, teams still want to play their best hockey heading into the postseason. So, we'll take a look at some of the games for April 24th. But before we do, I want to invite you to join the VIP Club section, which has all the tools you need to help you make your picks. Okay, so we're going to take a look at some of the games here. We have Carolina Hurricanes and the New York Islanders. The Hurricanes come in average, and New York Islanders ice cold down. Hurricanes have won three out of their last six, and the Islanders have won two out of their last six and have lost their last two. On the power ranking indicator, you can see that Carolina is at plus 24, down from plus 29 as of a week ago, and the Islanders are at plus 13. The score prediction has the Islanders by a 4-3 margin of victory with about 74% level of confidence. You see, as far as the over-under goes, Carolina has been involved in games over the line in four out of their last six, as well as the Islanders. So this is a good indication that this will be a higher scoring game. The stability factor, how consistent of the teams performing according to their favorite underdog status, both Consistently performing, you can see as the trend has been going upward, and it's at plus 20 for New York and plus 19 for Carolina. The way I see this game is I think that uh, Islanders are going to be better playing at home. I like New York to win at home, perhaps into overtime in a game going over the line. Detroit, New Jersey. Now, it's a full slate of games. We've got to take over four of them. So there's quite a few games we aren't going to look at. But next one we want to look at is the Boston Bruins and... Montreal Canadiens. These two teams have been heading in opposite directions pretty much all season. Boston is burning hot. They're coming off a two-game winning streak, and they are 3-3 three and three over their last six games. While the Canadians are dead status, they have lost their last six. As far as the over-under goes, you can see that the Canadians are over in three out of the last six, as well as the Bruins over in three out of the last six. And you notice the two games that they won were both low-scoring games going under the line. The score prediction has Boston by a 4-3 margin of victory with about 52% level of confidence. On the power ranking indicator, you can see that Boston is up to plus 19. They were down to plus 15. And that, that plus 15 was the lowest that they had been since back in February, uh, February the 19th to be exact. And Montreal is at plus 2. The consistency factor, how stable are the two teams? Both, again, pretty stable, actually very stable at plus 23 to plus 19. So they're performing very consistently with regards to their favorite underdog status. I do like Boston. They're considerably stronger than Montreal. They will win by a couple of goals in a game going over the line. Colorado, Winnipeg. The next one we want to look at is Tampa Bay and Florida. This is going to be the game of the day, I believe. Uh, two of the top teams in the Eastern Conference face off. Tampa Bay is averaged down after coming off the loss, but they are 3-3 three and three over their last six games, and Florida is burning hot. You can see winners of their last six. Um, according to the uh, over-under, you can see that Tampa Bay is over in their last three and three out of their last six, while Florida has also been over in three out of their last six. So this is a good indication probably to avoid the over-under. Um, the score prediction has a 5-2 to two margin of win for Florida. If that would hold, that would be probably over the line. The lines have not yet been placed, but seven is generally going to be over the line in an NHL game. Uh, confidence in prediction is 79.1%. The volatility oscillator shows, again, both teams are very consistently performing. Florida at plus 29. You can see that the Lightning, they were as high as plus 25. They did drop down to plus 20, and now they are back up to plus 21. But both teams are pretty stable. Um, the way I see this game, playing out is I do think the Panthers will win this game at home probably by a goal perhaps two goals but I would avoid betting the over under Toronto and Washington Minnesota and Nashville the last game we want to look at is St. Louis and Anaheim St. Louis enters burning hot down they had won their previous five before losing to Boston by a three to two score at home Anaheim is ice cold down they're coming off of a loss and they are two and four over the last six if you look at the over-under, the teams have been involved in the games over the line in a combined 9 out of their last 12 games. A pretty good indication that this will be a higher scoring game. The score prediction kind of reveals that too, 4-3 for St. Louis, with a confidence in prediction of about 70%. 
The power rank indicator shows here, look at St. Louis in an upward trend. They were at plus 25. They dipped slightly to plus 24. But over the last two weeks, they have been on the upward trend, and they are now at plus 30. Well, Anaheim is at plus 9. If you take a look at the stability factor, you can see what, plus 28 for Anaheim and plus 9 for St. Louis. You can see that it's a continuously upward trend. The way I see this game going to go, I do like uh, St. Louis at home. Uh, excuse me, they're not at home, but I do like St. Louis regardless of where they are at because they are definitely the better team. Anaheim's kind of just playing at the string at this point, so I like St. Louis to win in a game going over the line. I can see there's one more game here, San Jose and Vegas. I'm not really going to take a look at that one. So there you have it, a full slate of games for the NHL. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.